Aloha, beautiful love family. It is me, Lisa Tenson Isbrown. And I'm trying to do more videos when the energy allows, when, when the, the schedule, all of those things allow and for you guys. Um, there is so much. So bear with me as I jump around from thing to thing and try to fit as much into this for those who would like to utilize this information to assist them. These are supportive videos. These are, are to assist you with expanding your consciousness beyond the current situation, beyond the current physical anything, okay? Um, it's important, I, I, one thing that you learn along the way is that you observe everything, you see. We don't think, we process information. We observe and we process. And, and the ability to observe and process increases as, as your body holds more crystalline content, if you will. As your body um, becomes more crystalline, um, then the more you become a processor of information, okay? There are times that you can't process hardly anything at all because your body's undergoing so many upgrades and, and integration, and, and you're basically offline. You're unable to, to really process any data because you're processing data, light encoded data. Um, this is a very different existence than it was before. Um, when your head ruled the show, um, once your heart opens fully and your higher mind consciousness starts to come online and, the, and you synchronize your heart and, and your mind to the, the same unified frequency of love, the unified frequency of light, unified field of consciousness, um, your how you function, your consciousness will expand so far beyond your body that that basically how you function changes too. Um, you you exist through, as, in, an entire unified field of consciousness where unconsciousness becomes very prominent when, when it's around you, it becomes very apparent to you. It becomes, you're very, sometimes hyper aware um, be, because when you're going and moving into a, a existence of super consciousness. You, you are hyper aware of absolutely everything, 360 degree range that goes on around you in your field of super consciousness. Okay. Now the field of super consciousness that you exist as in from all of these things, they're all true. Okay. So we, we have to use words interchangeably here. You expand your field of consciousness the deeper you go inside of you, the deeper you connect on a soul level with yourself, the, the deeper to the depths of the core of your divine, pure essence, the, the, the core of your existence, the core of all of these things, existences, all of them, the deeper you go inside, the further across all dimensions, galaxies, universes that you can expand your consciousness into and, and bring them further from within you. The more that you function from this place, the slower you move because you're in tune with everything simultaneously. Once you're able to tune to everything simultaneously, then you can move your body faster. Then you can move faster without speeding without your head speeding things up when you get into your head then everything goes too fast you have to slow everything down tune completely in merge your consciousness with all things around you and observe and then you have to choose you have to synchronize there are all of these things that we have to do that that are not taken into account by the typical human if you will i'm going to say human i'm talking about the human ego that that had where that person, if you will, I'm trying to use words here, has not fully awakened to to themselves fully. It's our human that's waking up. It's our body that's waking up. 
Okay, our soul is already awake. Our soul is not asleep. Our soul doesn't hurt. <laughs> All of these things, okay? Your soul is trying to integrate into your body. So now I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to flip the way this works. In the beginning, our souls were, were in a higher dimension, the fifth dimension and above. And, and we would connect to them when we were in a different dimension, the third or the fourth dimension, and we would talk to them. Some of us became psychics, you know, or channels, and we were always connecting up to something of a higher vibrational frequency. Well, the more you connect up, if you will, to this higher vibrational frequency and out, then the more that your body can activate those higher dimensional vibrations from within you so that your physical body can ascend. Now, once you have ascended, we're always ascending as humans. We're always awakening as humans. Okay? Once your physical body ascends, there are no more higher vibrations, if you will, uh, of souls. There, there's nobody to talk to etherically anymore. You become the soul. You will actually feel like you kind of died because you did, because you'll go through multiple deaths and, and that you might not even be alive anymore. This becomes a very, the reality becomes plasma and weird. The, the reality feels very fluid. The reality feels very different. It's a bit eerie and weird sometimes because the way it feels, because you're walking in, in the beginning, you're walking in a lucid dream and it doesn't even feel real. Then there are days that it feels really real. There are days that, that you feel more human um, because you're not able to maintain as much expansion. But then there are times that you feel more human, but you're also very expanded at the same time. Um, part of multidimensionality is expanding and the contracting and, and being in multiple dimensions all simultaneously and in this physical one here and maintaining an expanded state of consciousness. No matter what the physical says, does, is, because your consciousness is, is so far beyond the physical form, you have a body that is in your field. Okay, and you walk around. This is where you have to be really careful with your feet. You, you'll break your foot, you'll fall down, you'll bust your face, you'll do all of these things if you're not really present because your consciousness is so far expanded into these other dimensions um, that you have to really pay attention. This is where you have to really get present with every movement, with where you place your hands. You'll cut your fingers with knives. Be very careful. You have to be very present, okay? Right here, zero point field. All right, so that's not why I started doing this video. Um, but it's all a part of the process. So, so I tend to throw as much as I can in at the time. You see, we see a lot of people say, well, they're not conscious. Okay. Well, and this might be true. This is, this is where you come in. Okay. They might not be conscious, but how are they supposed to come into consciousness if you're not open enough to share alternative realities? alternative realizations, alternative anything. If you're not willing to share the information that assists them with coming into consciousness, if, if you're not coming from the place of unity and love within you, well, then technically, then all they have access to is the reality that they've had access to all along, which is a fixed linear one, which is the only one they technically know. Okay, because remember, we were all unconscious at some point. Okay, different degrees of unconsciousness. Some of us were really unconscious and completely asleep and had no clue. Some were somewhat conscious, which means their heart was more open. They had more feminine energy. Okay, um, some of us very masculine. Um, uh, you know, we, we chose different journeys. Depending on the amount of feminine and masculine energy that we held is, is going to dictate the journey that we chose here. Okay, the more masculine, the more unconscious. That's just how it goes. <laughs> you have the capability in any unconscious situation to present the opportunity of what consciousness is, what love is, what unity is, what respect is, what honor is, okay? What integrity is, what purity is. You have the ability to expose your soul, to open up, to be vulnerable, to be pure, 
to be these things and to show them it's safe. Okay? It's not hard. But if you don't have the capability, if you've got defense mechanisms going on, if you're going, oh, but they're unconscious and your heart is closed and you're in judgment, well, you're going to keep getting that reality. Okay? This is a way it goes. Now, I had several occasions. I run into unconscious people all the time. The only difference is that I choose. Is this somebody that I want in my everyday life? Is this somebody I want to surround myself with? Or sometimes it's just increments. Sometimes it's just a little bit at a time. Sometimes you come together for short exchanges, for, for small purposes of whatever serves, whatever is beneficial, whatever support, supports the whole, the bigger picture. And if your exchange does not support the bigger picture, why you're here on this earth, if your exchange is not of unity, love, respect, integrity, and in balance, if everybody isn't all in and contributing, then the timeline cannot continue. It will collapse. Okay. And this is how it works. Now for me and, 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 and many of us who do this, okay, is, is that you have in the beginning when your physical body is ascending, ascending, you have a Merkaba. Once you complete physical body ascension, you're still ascending, okay? There, there, there are multiple ascension processes that are constantly occurring. You're always ascending. There is just different points of ascension. Once your Merkaba has completed its purpose with, with carrying you through to the fifth dimension so you can walk in the fifth dimension and above, and this is how you live your life, okay? Um, and then you're going to be moving into higher dimensional timelines and frequencies from that point forward. Many well, way higher. Fifth dimension is the beginning, okay? That's where you rebirth yourself. Your divine child starts coming through. This is where you love to play. But then you got to grow up on new earth. Then, then it's um, working through all of your resistance, all of your stubbornness, all of your fight, all of your ego. Um, all of that has to occur before you ascend. But then once you physically ascend, because I have a lot of questions about when you ascend and all this kind of stuff. So I'm answering these questions in this video here. Okay. Then it's time for you to really observe your own programming and break those programs yourself very quickly. Um, they, they no longer control. You, you no longer have the ups or the downs because it's ups and downs are ascension, descension, ascension, descension. And then you move into multidimensional expansion and contraction and you're going to feel squished. And when you get into multidimensional expansion and contraction, this is where the breathing stuff comes in. It feels like something's compressing you. You, you have to bust out of that. You can't, you can't do that anymore. And, and so you will be able to tell the difference in these different um, realities, if you will, and, and where your physical body, um, the, the human body and the human doesn't do very well with gravity going. Um, it doesn't understand what happens when gravity goes, when, when your memories start to dissolve, when you can't remember anything. Um, it, it likes to attribute this to something else, okay? And all of this is a part of multidimensionality. And, and this is how the body works as it's acclimating to higher frequencies and you are expanding into other dimensions and timelines and, and universes and galaxies and all of these things. And, and the physical reality is about to take a back seat. It's no longer your priority. It's no longer the thing that, that dictates your reality for you. Whereas a, as a human that lives from their head and their ego, it is. It's the first thing they see. It's the first thing um, that, that they focus on. It's the first thing. And, and so this is a complete flipping of everything in your reality. All right, so let me, let me hop to different topics so that I can put this out for you guys today because I'm going to try to do some more um, as often as I can and put them out to assist. Okay, so I have had occasions, we all do, where you look at the other person and you say, but wait a minute, that isn't unity, that isn't love. This isn't higher consciousness. This is human, this is fear, this is judgment, this is this, and the person will look at you and, and say, well, well, I don't wanna change. I, they don't say them in these words, but you can hear when they say, but I'm not ready to do that. Or, or no, I don't like, the, they're not ready for the change, they're not ready to jump into all new realities, not really to step in their power, they're not ready, okay? And, and the thing about it is, it's not up to you to judge them for not being ready. It's, it's up to you to respect them and honor their choices. But also then you have to respect and honor your choices too, 
And this is where um, you go into separating your realities out in order to respect each person, to, to live their life however they need to, to live their realities that however they need to. Now, I'm going to flip it for a moment into karmic timelines because technically, as long as we're in a physical body, we're always playing out a karmic timeline, if you will, because there always will be something unconscious going um, when you're repeating an old program again. Um, when we're repeating something that is unconscious. That's why it's so important that for each person to come into everything with full consciousness um, so that you can basically um, choose new realities that don't carry karmic timelines through. And it's really important because you can do this and it is very easy, but you're going to be coming together through unity, love, and respect. You're going to be coming together to to focused on the bigger picture of what you're here to be and do. You're going to be coming together to share and support each other. You're going to be coming together to create new realities on new foundations of higher consciousness that are not going to look anything like the old. Your, your, your ego isn't going to come into play. Your ego is not going to run the show. Your ego, your separation um, has no place here. Uh, basically, we call it out. It's like, nope, not okay. And we deal with it right then. There is no carrying anything forth here. Okay. If somebody looks at you and says, once you've presented them from a place of love with, with a different option, once you've presented them with, with a different alternative, if they're fighting and arguing and saying, no, 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 can't be and all that kind of stuff, then, then you, you realize, and this is where it gets important. We don't feed our energy into that. We don't, we don't argue. We don't defend. We don't go on to the op opposition. There's no reason to, okay? That's showing you where things cannot align, period. If each's heart is open, it's going to be very easy to align. If someone's heart is closed, their mind is going to be closed. They're going to be fixed on realities and insisting and still trying to carry that stuff forth, okay? And so this is where you have to choose. This is where they have to choose. This is where we all have to choose what you're going to allow. So now I'm going to flip to protection because a lot of people use the word protection. When you go into protection mode, your heart closes, period. Don't even use the word because you are creating a mindset, again, of fear. Something's more powerful than you. You are protecting yourself against something. Let the word go. If you would like a different word to replace it with, use honor. You're not here to protect yourself. You're here to stand in honor as love. Stand and honor yourself. You're here to stand in your power. You're here to honor you. And when you honor you, you don't need to protect yourself against anything else. This is how it goes. So choose honor. Choose love. Choose unity. Choose peace. Choose these things and choose this is where you're going to come from. This is where you're going to function from. This is how you're going to live. This is how you're going to be. And if you're going to choose these things, then you're going to have less tolerance because this is how it works. You're no longer tolerable to unconsciousness, but it's in a different way. It's not a defense mechanism and it's not a fighting anything. It is a recognition and an acknowledgement and a seeing and observing that that's unconsciousness. And they're basically calling it like it is and basically saying, no, it's not okay, but you're not angry. They're not fighting against anything. You're not protecting yourself against anything. You're just saying no. And you're holding your reality in place. This is where the human can't. It can't hold its reality in place from a higher dimensional, from a higher consciousness state. It will give in. It will succumb. It, it will cater to the old programs again. It'll go back into the loop cycle until all that energy of lack is gone. And that's what this is. Let's see what else I can throw in here for you guys. Um, one thing is you can always see the beauty in everything. You can always see the purposes in things. You can always connect to a higher dimensional plane of existence, to a higher state of consciousness. If your heart is open, you can always, okay? There will be times that it's harder because you're going through something you have to clear. So clear it out, move it out, shift it, shift your vibration, Honor the part of the process you're in until that process has concluded, until you have completed integrating more light into your physical body structure. 
into your organs, into your bones, into your flesh. Uh, you are integrating light. You are activating light. You are holding more light in your physical body and expanding your consciousness, your energy field, your soul, your spirit, if you will. All from inside of you out and holding it until everything has been reset. Everything has been realigned. Your Stargate system will start building itself. Once your Merkaba collapses, then what it does is it collapses into new sacred geometries, into new geometrics. It'll turn into, I used to call it an Orbitron. I actually have to change this in the book. I didn't know at the time the thing I called an Orbitron because that's what it looked like when I was observing it was an atom because at that point I had moved to um, subatomic and, and atomic um, encodements and, and DNA and molecular structures and, and everything becomes quantum. Okay. And so when you're observing this, sometimes you don't have the proper words because you're not doing this from a logical place. You're not doing this because you researched it. You're doing this because when your soul comes through it through from within you and you expand back into all of your aspects again, then you have this new language that it takes a while to, to explain and, and learn how to bring all the pieces of the puzzle together to create the picture for others to be able to understand too. When you wake up each day, do you, because this is gonna make a difference, do you focus on how you can inspire? Do you focus on getting inspired? Do you focus on tuning and maintaining peace and love and integrity and respect and honor and all of these things first before you get up and start your day? Do you, do you focus on reconnecting and staying connected no matter what happens? Do you focus on holding your highest vibration no matter what happens around you? Because if you do, then you're going to have a very different reality as you go through your day. Because if you are focused on holding your highest vibration, no matter what, no matter what, doesn't matter what happens around you, okay? You have the ability. These are your gifts. These are your abilities. These are your powers. These are all these things you bring forth here. To completely shift any reality from a place of duality, from a place of separation, back into love back into unity, back into purity from the depth of the core of your being. If you're being this aspect of you here, if you're not, then you don't. This is how it works. Your priorities, your focus, what you allow are going to make a difference in everything. Now, you are going to see more things being exposed. You are going to see more things coming into the light. You are this is what this is. All things that were hidden, all things that were suppressed, all things that were ignored, all things that were um, not visible before are coming visible. That's what this is. If you wanna use dualistic words, it's the light shining the light on the dark. It's the dark coming into the light. It doesn't really matter which word you use. It's your mentality about things. Okay? It's where you come from that matters. If you're coming from a uni place of unity and love and, and understanding without judgment, then, then that's going to give you a different experience and perception than if you're coming from duality and, and, and fighting against things and, and pointing the finger and, and blaming and all of these things. So it, it's... If you shift your mentality, you will shift your entire reality. It is that easy, but you have to work to shift your mentality. You have to see from a bazillion different vantage points. You have to see from every dimension. You have to elevate your consciousness and observe and see what you couldn't see before. Then the question is, what are you going to do? Because once you see, and this is the part of unconsciousness that humans prefer, if you will, but they don't, okay? Because this is a very physiological process. There is a very physical part of this process where the body has to evolve. And if the body hasn't evolved, then technically 
the, the linear constructs that are held within the body don't allow the unconscious human to understand yet. Their heart hasn't opened enough, which means their mind isn't open. Now, everybody has the capability, okay? But then everything is going to occur to bring everybody into consciousness. And sometimes what needs to occur is stronger, harsher, more direct. A lot of people look at us and say, wow, you, you know, that that seems a bit harsh or that seems a little bit. Yes, it has to be. OK, you can choose our harsh directness uh, of putting it in your face or you can choose an actual physical reality that's going to shake your whole world up in a very different way. You get to choose. Um, we, we have to say these things sometimes because they're the kindest way to bring others into consciousness um, forego the alternative sometimes. So yes, you will see us say things. We're, we're trying to make a point, okay? Those of us who chose the roles that we did, part of our role is to bring things into awareness in, in a multitude of ways. Bring things into awareness that others don't have the capability to see. We are the cosmic eyes. We're the cosmic whatever if you want to. We're the galactics. We're all of these things, okay? We, we are, are, we all are these things. It's not, it, everybody has this capability. If you resonate in any way at all, then, then, then we all have technically the same capabilities here. The only difference is that, so, so I'm going to use myself as an example. I have the capability to see someone's subconscious and unconscious programming and to take them directly to the core of that, to clear it right then. I have, and it's not just me, it's anybody who does this who's really in tune, okay? But we also have the capability to activate those light encodements that, that you don't yet have access to, if you will, we, because we can see them. We're aware they're there. We have the ability to activate those within you and assist you with activating those and, and, and seeing, just like we see, seeing, but you have to be open to it and you have to be willing to do whatever it takes in order to do this because this is how it works. All right. I know I wandered into all my little crop circles and stuff like that, but it's part of, part of how we roll. If you make a choice that your energy, once you start to realize that everything that you do, everything you say, everything you have, everywhere you put your attention, everything you feed your energy into, every decision you make supports something, it's either supporting the old or supporting the new, then, then you get to choose. Because if you're going to come from separation and fear, then you're going to be um, supporting old programming, um, whereas that will collapse in some way, shape, or form. That's what this is, it is the old collapses to, re to be replaced with new. Zero point field means a reset constantly. Um, everything, the te your template, uh, there comes a point where your template wipes in every moment. Your template is clear in every moment. You've cleared your Akash, you've cleared your galactic karma, you've cleared all of these karmas that you're carrying, if you will, which are just unconscious programs. And so when you come from unity and love, you're clearing these easily. Whereas if you're playing in them, then, then you're doing the more extreme way, if you will, with exercising out all of the energy that's going to bring you to the same place eventually. But sometimes that's necessary because there's so much energy there. Um, if you've never spoken your truth, then you're going to speak your truth for a while. This is about balance in all things. And balance is one of the most challenging things in the beginning. And then it becomes maintaining balance all the time, not letting anything get out of balance um, while integrating a ridiculous amount of higher light consciousness into your physical body. So maintaining realities, maintaining physical realities, maintaining everything um, becomes a, a full-time job after a while. And then you go on from there to other things too. If you stop and look around and you start to really, really, really see, you're going to be faced with decisions now. And for some, it's not going to be easy. 
for, for all of us who came through this or have come through this, it's not been easy, okay, for a while. It does get easier, um, but you're working through your own ego. You're working through your own separation, and that part isn't easy, technically, um, for a while. It is easy if you open your heart. It is easy if you trust. It is easy if you let go of the fight that your ego's got going and connect inside and open up to listen. It's not easy if you're judging, if you're holding on and you're attached and you're letting your fear rule. It's not easy, okay? It's not going to be, it's not meant to be because that energy is the point, okay? So, um, I know there was more that I was gonna share, but I think I'll come back and, and do it a little bit later. Um, you are going to see many things exposed. You are going to see more things come into the light. You are going to experience more things so that you can choose. This is your initiation process. This is all of ours. Gateways are huge initiation process. The only thing is the amount of stargates that are active and synchronizing now compared to before. Um, and and these, the, the amount of power and the speed and how fast things are are, are relative to the, the vibrational frequencies that we are in. It's not that it's faster, it's just that there's no more delay anymore. And the reason I say that is because when, when everything starts to converge in, into this physical space, then the delay, there's no more delaying, okay? So everything that you're transmitting is going to bring forth a reality, whether it be energetic, whether it be a physical one, whether it be an emotional one, for you to have to deal with and move through, process the emotions, process the thoughts, process these things. And if you're not allowing time, and space for you to process, then it's going to be very confusing. It's going to be very rough. Um, you have to pull away to process, okay? If you have somebody that can assist you with processing, then then, then pick somebody that can assist you with processing. Um, if you, the reason we stress nature is because it's much easier to process in nature or when you're alone. For me, it was always just being alone. Didn't matter where I was. Um, for me, it was, um, I have certain places that, that, let's say, work better for me in order to integrate. Um, and so you have to pick what's, what works for you that, that's how this works. Um, sometimes it's your bed, which, which always will be a sanctuary. Um, it's always a sacred place. It's where, where our body goes through an immense amount of tuning and, and, and integration, okay? This is why it's important for you to clear your field, clear your area, clear out the clutter, get all the junk gone. This is why it's so important because everything will either interfere or assist with your consciousness. And so everything that's in your field, you will start to feel things interfering, getting in the way. You're going to start wanting to get rid of things. You're going to want to start clearing things out. You can't, t it's just like too much stuff around you. That's your consciousness expanding. You're feeling things. It's kind of cool. All right, guys, I love you. Every day, get up and explore. Every day, find a way to get inspired. Every day, ask yourself, how can I contribute? How can I support? Shift that energy from fear to generosity. Shift that energy. Start realizing that you play a huge part uh, of new Earth's existences, bringing and anchoring more heaven on Earth here. You, po you play a really important part. We all do. But coming together... In, in order to combine our efforts, coming together in order to support each other. Instead of waiting for somebody to support you, then you step up and you become the support. Instead of waiting for, for something to occur, then you step up and you start becoming the one. And that's when your whole world will start to change, is when you step up and you're ready. And you're, you're, you will have to step into your fears. That's the point. You're not supposed to have any fear. Once you hit the fifth dimension and higher, there's no fear. Uh, fear will come up, but it's a cellular program, and you just clear the program. And, and then the reality shifts and changes, too. So it can be that easy if you're willing to allow it to. I love you guys. Have an amazing everything. I'm going to speak a moment for, about the full moon. Um, super full moon. This one, and, and I think I saw yesterday that the one at the end of the month, of January 1st, another super full moon, then the end of January, another super full moon, which is a blood moon and a blue moon, which red and blue, notice, um, power is an understatement, guys, okay, change is an understatement here, shifting into a higher vibrational timeline, understatement here, 
Um, last night, I was surprised. I was taking pictures of the full moon, and I was surprised at how quiet everything was. Okay, so this morning I wake up and it's still quiet. And I'm like, wow. But then I can hear everything getting ready. It's getting ready. It's getting ready. It's about to blow the lid off. All right, so we will go through. Um, I don't have the words right now. Um, this is my morning. I just woke up a couple hours ago. I decided to do this for you guys before I started accomplishing for the day. Um, body field, stargates. Physical body, huge synchronizations, huge timeline collapses. Everything's speeding up and slowing down, speeding up and slowing down, okay? You will go through a reset constantly. The moment things leave your field, that whole reality is gone, okay? Not even real anymore. Uh, you, you will start to realize things are collapsing faster because the, the, the moment it leaves your field, it's done. The only way that it continues or carries on is if you keep carrying it on. The only way, if you keep recreating it, if you're willing to let go the moment something leaves your field, the whole memory will dissolve. You don't even remember it. All you remember is the awesomeness. All you remember is the beauty. All you remember, and you remember what was out of alignment um, so that you can choose whether you're going to accept or tolerate that again. So the next time it comes around, you have to check and see which timeline you're in. You have to check and see which version or aspects of each one of you are, are, are playing out. If you're back in a karmic timeline, are you allowing or keep recreating those karmic timelines to have to keep experiencing here? Or is everybody starting fresh? Is everybody starting anew? Is everybody starting on the same page? Open communication. We're in Mercury retrograde, which means you have to open up to more honest, respectful, loving communication. You have to be more open you have to be more in tune, okay? You have to process everything differently. Um, and if, if you're not slowing down, then things are going to slow you down, um, which is the point. Um, you're, it, we have more capabilities with, with our body and our field of consciousness. Um, and Mercury retrograde for us is awesome. We love it because everything is available and more expanded in the unified field of consciousness. There's a lot more tuning that goes on. There's a lot more um, recalibration that goes on. There is a ridiculous amount of um, geomagnetics um, and tuning processes that have to occur. So you, you do have to slow down and, and allow for these processes to complete in, in order to um, come through. Um, into a higher vibration through on the other side because you're actually constantly going through vortexes and, and portals and gateways uh, with every initiation uh, process that you complete. So, okay, I love you guys and I'll put out some more stuff soon. I'll come up with some more topics that might assist, but be prepared, um, not from a um, fear place. Be prepared for things to shift and change. Be prepared to see more. Be prepared to make more decisions. Be prepared to shift your vibration. Be prepared to expand. Be prepared for the unknown. Be prepared for the weird and bizarre. Be prepared for these things because, but not prepared from a place of hesitation or worry. Prepared from a place of excitement. Be prepared from a place of, I'm ready. I've been waiting for this. And when you're prepared and you're ready and you're open and you're like, okay, universe, I'm ready. Because you're just talking to yourself in a higher vibration. Your human is, okay? So, but when you are your whole universe, you're just talking to yourself. And so basically you're walking around talking to yourself all day long like all of us do. And you're answering yourself because there, there's a multitude of you. And there's not really anywhere. The, the thing about this is, is that you always know inside. And, and so when you are fully expanded as everything there's nowhere to go to ask anymore you you check and see the way you feel is this aligned is this the highest vibration of love is this the highest vibration of unity is this the highest consciousness state that i can exist as at this time and when when a lot once a lot of people come through to the fifth dimension, if you will, in and out, in and out, and, and learn how supportive the energies are, then you have to start stepping into those supporter roles because you'll only be supported for a while and, and then it'll start shifting where, where you've been supported long enough to see 
you'll always be supported. But then the support will kind of start being removed if you're not stepping into those timelines, if you're not stepping into those vibrations, if you're not stepping into those roles, then it starts to reverse and the support will, will start to be removed because it's time for you to step into a higher vibrational timeline and become the supporter. Okay. And this is where a lot of people are about to get. This is where we whine and cry a little bit as a human, because now you actually have to do something. You don't get to sit around and be supported all of the time anymore. And that's out of balance. And you will always be supported, but it's going to be based on how you're contributing. It's going to be based on what you're doing. It's going to be based, which is your divine masculine energy, which also correlates to Siri. And they all have different vibrations, correlates to, to God consciousness. The, all these things have, have cross correlations, but different vibrations, frequencies, and initiation processes that are not a, a overnight thing. They take years, okay? They take time. And you're always in and out of all of these. You just have to check and see where you are and what's going on and what your initiation process is while also enjoying and, 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 and having a blast. And because it can be that way. There are parts of this that are not fun. Um, on an energetic level, level, it's excruciating to have your ego come up and have to work through something. It's like, oh, good God, really, we're going to do this again? But yes, you are. Okay, it's got to go. Especially since we've cycled all the way up and out and stayed there for years. And now we're all the way back down and we're back in the root chakra again. And, and now it's all of them. And we don't treat these chakras separately anymore. They all collapse into one. But you can be functioning from um, that system if you will, while you're clearing it out and returning things to purity within yourself. So you can be more in that, that part. And so like for years, I hadn't talked about the ego. Well, we're back in the ego energies because that's the, that's the cleansing that's going on. That's where the earth is now is cycled back around to clearing all that Atlantean reptilian, all of that human ego. Um, it's all got to go. No more. No more tolerance, zero, okay? So wherever this is represented in your world, in your life, wherever it's playing out for you, that's your hologram. That's your virtual reality that has materialized in the physical or it's in a distance for you to see it so that you can actually go, wow, I had no clue that I was unconscious. Wow, I had no clue that I was running that program. Wow, I had no clue and say, now I do. Now I get to choose. Now I get to say no. Now I get to shift to a different timeline where that's not a part of my reality anymore. And it can be that easy if you will actually open up to the possibility and hold your highest state of consciousness all of the time so that everything can synchronize for you and your body and your field can completely align. I love you guys. Have an amazing everything and get ready about to blow the lid off because I'm listening to the frequencies right now and we're in preparation mode, preparing, preparing, everything's gearing up. And when this blows, it's gonna blow. And it's gonna be powerful. The, 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 no more of the old, okay? It's gonna come up for you to see it and for you to choose. It's gonna come up for you to see it and for you to resolve it from within you. It's gonna come up for you to see it, for you to claim it, own it, let it go. It's gonna come up for you to see it for you to step into your power. It's going to come up for you to see it, for you to bring more love, more of your highest everything from inside of you and shift your entire body with you. Get your physical body's vibration up. This is key. I love you. Have an amazing everything. Mahalo.